Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, let's talk about Andy Ruiz Jr. and his comeback on May 1st against Chris Ariola. This is what Andy Ruiz Jr. had to say about his weight, and obviously he's had to come down a lot since his last fight against Anthony Joshua. This is what he had to say in his own words. I must have lost £40 after my defeat versus Anthony Joshua. I gained to like £310. I was depressed, mad at myself because I knew I should have trained. I had everything, the belts, but I took that shit for granted. I'm ready to go and get my belts back. So there we go, that is what he has explained ahead of his comeback against Chris Ariola. Now, this will be a pay-per-view card apparently in the US, and it will go on May 1st. And I know that seems like it's going up against Derek Chisora versus Joseph Parker, but it's not really. Because I believe that many fans from the UK will be interested in Chisora versus Parker, and many American fans will be interested in Ruiz versus Ariola, because obviously it caters to a US time zone, whereas Chisora Parker caters to a UK time zone. So I wouldn't imagine that it will cause too much of an effect of them both going on the same date. Now, talking about Andy Ruiz Jr. and his weight loss journey, that has been well documented since his loss to Anthony Joshua. That seems to be all we talk about when we talk about Andy Ruiz Jr. How is his weight coming down? What weight is he going to be for his next fight? And that was because he ballooned up so much for the rematch against AJ. And he says that he gained even more weight after that just through being mad at himself and feeling down, which is understandable because he feels like he didn't put his best into that rematch. And... Clearly he believes he can make a comeback trail and go for the belts once again. That will not be this year because obviously Undisputed is happening between AJ and a Fury. Or so we are told by many promoters and Anthony Joshua did say a big announcement is coming soon or we'll be hearing from him soon. So we are believing that Undisputed will happen. So therefore no one is getting a world title opportunity this year. What I believe that means is we have a great opportunity to see some big fights like Maybe Ruiz versus Dillian White, maybe Ruiz versus Deontay Wilder, because they're not getting a world title opportunity this year, so why not face one another? It's a brilliant opportunity to do that. I would actually be very interested to see Joe Parker rematch Andy Ruiz Jr. That fight is definitely possible for the end of the year, because Parker is fighting on the same date as Andy Ruiz Jr., and if he is able to beat Chisora, then he could go into a fight against Andy Ruiz Jr. And guess what? If Chisora wins, why not Chisora versus Andy Ruiz Jr.? Would that not be a good fight? I know that they're on different platforms, but there is a way they can make the fight. I mean, Andy Ruiz fought Anthony Joshua, but I know that that was a big opportunity for him at that point. So they couldn't really say to Ruiz, no, you can't fight him. You can't go on that platform and fight for the heavyweight world championship. But they're not going to do that. So they were happy for Ruiz to come over to DAZN and to Sky Sports, obviously, to fight Anthony Joshua. Whether they would be happy to do so for, say, Joe Parker or Chisora is another thing entirely, but after he beats Ariola, because I do believe he will beat him, if he doesn't, then he's not the kind of fighter we expected he would be. But still, if he gets that victory, then who is he going to face? That is the big question. It has to be a top 10 heavyweight, in my opinion. I don't see how he can go Ariola, then someone else, maybe around the top 20, and expect to get a world title opportunity based off of that. In this comeback, I don't want to see Andy Ruiz Jr. pad out his record. I want to see him get some big names and get some good victories because I think that he's an exciting addition to the heavyweight division. So why not face the likes of Chisora Parker if he can, Dillian White, Deontay Wilder. He has explained that those are names he will be looking at after Ariola, so he needs to deliver a big fight after this one. I think we can all agree the name that he wants more than anyone else is Anthony Joshua, but Joshua's tied up before this year. So he won't be able to fight him possibly until late 2022, even if that did happen, because Ruiz has to earn his opportunity. Last time around, he was quite lucky. I mean, he was in the right place at the right time and got his world title opportunity and he took it. Fair play to him. He took that opportunity and look at the rewards for taking it. But this time around, I believe that he's not going to get the same kind of opportunity. So he must earn it by fighting top names and getting well ranked within a governing body. It won't be too difficult for Ruiz to get a world title opportunity. It seems like these days they can plot their way to getting that chance instead of going and fighting the likes of Dillian White, Povetkin and Deontay Wilder. They can go and fight someone like Trevor Bryan and go and get a world title opportunity. That seems to be the way things happen with the governing bodies and their ranking system. Because I'm pretty sure in the WBA rankings that Deontay Wilder is like number two 
and Bogdan Dinu is number three, who lost to Pulev and Jarrell Miller. So the two big fights that he has had, he has lost, and yet he's still ranked number three by that governing body. So if Ruiz fights him, then he gets a good ranking within the WBA. And the possibility of being selected to go and fight an eliminator, then get an opportunity at the world champion. That does encourage fighters to take the easier path, because then why are they going to fight someone like Wilder, like Dillian White, like Povetkin, if they can just go and fight Bogdan Dinu, and they're closer to a world title opportunity than they would be if they fought one of those other top heavyweights who have proven themselves in the division. It seems to be going that way anyway, but at the moment there's not much we can really do about it. We can just hope that Ruiz decides, okay, Ariola, then a big name, then a Wilder, then a Dillian White. He will get nothing but respect for taking fights like that. I mean, look at Dillian White. He could have taken an easy route, but he hasn't. He's gone the hardest route possible to get the experience to be in the big fights, but also to gain the fans, because the fans love what Dillian White does, taking tough challenges back to back, risking his position, even though he is number one. And yes, that did cost him last time around, but look how far he has come by taking those risks when it mattered most. And hopefully Ruiz goes down that route of taking some tough challenges because there can be some great fights made with him and Parker, with him and Chisora if Chisora wins. I mean, Dillian White, Deontay Wilder, it's endless. Povetkin, if Povetkin beats Dillian White at the weekend, there are many possibilities for Andy Ruiz Jr. And hopefully we get to see him in a big fight after May 1st going later into this year. I believe that the comeback itself for Andy Ruiz against Chris Ariola, I think that we can give him that one. It's not a brilliant fight but still he is coming back after a loss to Anthony Joshua and that fight was in 2019 so he's had a long layoff and his last fight was a defeat and he wasn't necessarily the right weight in that contest so he does need a comeback so that one's okay but he does need a big fight after Ariola. he cannot go Ariola than say Bogdan Dinu that's not really acceptable for someone in his position and that's no disrespect to Andy Ruiz that's because we believe he's a good fighter, so we want to see him in some tougher fights, like against Dillian White, some of those big matchups. That is important going forwards for Ruiz. He will gain so much respect and fan support if he does take those tough challenges. Guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Andy Ruiz Jr.'s comeback against Chris Ariola is scheduled for May 1st, clashing with Joe Parker versus Chisora, but I wouldn't imagine it would take anything away from that event because British fight fans are going to want to watch Chisora versus Parker than Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Chris Ariola, which American fight fans will likely tune into. In my opinion, Parker Chisora is a much better fight than Andy Ruiz Jr. versus Chris Ariola, but this is a comeback fight for Ruiz and that is the reason why he is facing Ariola. So, guys, anyway, drop your thoughts on this in the comments below. Also, leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.